Going to go live to Tokyo. Takuji Okubu is a Chief Japan Economist at Société Générale, and he joins us now. Uh, Takuji, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Well, what did you make of these numbers when they came out? They were pretty much expected that we would have a deficit for the year, but will we have a deficit this year? Yes, uh, I'm afraid so. I think uh, given why, you know, we have to think about what is causing the deficit, but I will tell you in a minute, but uh, we do think uh, e even in 2012, Japan will continue to have a trade deficit. So is this a sea change for the Japanese economy? Has the strength of the yen, the disruption to the supply chains, both home and abroad, meant that a lot of Japanese corporates now look overseas for production, and as a consequence of that, we are actually now entering mm. uh, 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 perhaps a few years where the country has continued deficits. Right. Well, whether it's she change or not, I think it does depend on the horizon. But as I mentioned, uh, we, Japan, we do expect Japan to continue to have trade deficit uh, also this year and possibly the first half of uh, next year. But uh, when you, the condition, the reason why it's causing it is not just export doing, uh, we, uh, we, uh, ex export doing uh, badly. Uh, it is, when you look at the import growth, uh, you do see that the import is growing at the rate of 8% year on year in, in this environment. So there must be something in Japan which is uh, pulling in those demand, and that's actually reconstruction demand. Okay, so the reconstruction demand, but you know, Japan will not be reconstructing forever, so how long does that last for? And is it a change of mentality exactly. by the Japanese consumer also partly responsible? And on top of that, a Japanese economy, with, albeit very slowly, is opening up more. No, I wouldn't. Well, you know, slowly, yes, of course, there's like a five-year trend, 10-year trend, 20-year trend. Japan consumer is certainly becoming more and more open to outside. Uh, for example, like uh, um, iPod, you know, everybody has an iPod in Japan, whereas it used to be Sony something. Um, perhaps 20 years ago, but then, as I mentioned, as we as we talked about, I don't think it's uh, it is actually a sea change. I don't think Japan will continue to have, to have a trade deficit for the next 10 years. It's just this year and next. Uh, the reason why is just that the global economy is, has been weakening, while Japan somehow uniquely is producing its own uh, domestic demand. So that's the reason, and I think we Japan will con re return to trade surplus in 2014. Okay, well, the strength of the yen is something that you haven't really talked about in much detail here. That's, of course, playing out on this. Does the uh, yen strength continue, or do you foresee a time when perhaps it does start to weaken it uh, uh, against its various counterparts? Right. Well, because of the trade deficit, I do think this will lessen, this will weaken the pressure for yen to appreciate. But then there are actually other... Uh, international balance than trade uh, trade balance. They are actually income balance, and nowadays Japan is actually producing a lot of surplus through income because of uh, Japan's vast investment, direct investment as well as portfolio investment abroad. Japan's current account uh, surplus as uh, balance, which is uh, which is addition of trade trade balance and the income balance, is is actually in surplus. So Japan so on balance, even because uh, even although despite the def trade deficit, uh, there's actually still a strong demand for yen. So we actually do think yen will continue to appreciate, also slowly than otherwise, but it will continue to appreciate through the course of this year. Well, let's not forget that Japan has the biggest capital surplus uh, out of anybody in the entire world. We can't forget about that. But uh, there is an active policy, isn't there, by the Japanese government to actually give advice to companies who want to set up abroad. Well, yeah, exactly. Um, so given that the domestic uh, economy will, will continue to uh, grow much slower than the globe, uh, global growth because of the shrinking Japanese population, yes, it is government's policy to encourage Japanese companies to invest abroad. So, I, and then that, kind of, that investment will bring back income to Japan. And that's why Japan will uh, continue to uh, will, uh, run a current account surplus. Takuchi, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Takuchi Kubu there from Societe Generale.